Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's webinar on how the Golden Goose works. So, first of all, I am in on the Share Tracking in Compass platform. So, if I do click on Login, we we'll just give it a chance to log in. I will note that under my side menu on the left hand side, if I click on analysis, I would see that there's a golden goose option. So to some of us, the golden goose may be a screenshot only. So it will say that this is a screenshot of our guru's market recommendations. Um, and it's only available to people with a valid subscription. So what they are talking about is the Golden Goose is an extra 99 Rand a month. The cycle runs for 12 months and thereafter you can then renew it or you can terminate it. So the Golden Goose gives me signals, it sends out messages telling me exactly what's happening in the shares. So if I do want to sign up for the Golden Goose, First, I need to go to a new window. I would type in share track and .co .za. And now I would just wait for it to load. If I can spell correctly, it will load. So I hit the site share track and .co .za. It will then open up. You will then see the dots that's busy turning there. If I then just give it some chance, it will finish loading and I can continue from there on to show you where to go and exactly what to select. I'm just giving it some time just to finish loading. Okay, I'm just quickly giving it chance to finish loading. Everybody can hear me loud and clearly. 
Let's go. I'd just like to see if I close everything. If it will just run a bit faster. As I see, it is a bit slow right now. Okay, the screen is just quickly going to disappear. Okay, it's looking a bit better right now. Let's just see if it's going to do something. Okay. Okay. While it's busy loading there on top, I'll give it a chance to finish loading. So on the golden goose, we have a weekly and a daily signals. The weekly signals is for people that trades longer term, as well as your daily signals are for people that's trading shorter term. Okay, so if I do open up the golden goose, I would see while it's busy opening up, it's just a bit slow tonight. While it's busy opening up, I would then see that it gives me a green, orange, and red light as it does there. And the green is saying that this share has already went through the price that the guru says we can buy at orange means it's approaching the price and red means it's far away from the price so this can then be anticipated as we anticipate the traffic line green means go orange means go but go with caution Okay, as with the traffic light, if you do go over, do so at caution and red means stop. Okay. But I must still go and do analysis on the share. Just make sure on the graphs that it is the buying point so that I don't lose money at the beginning before I even buy in. Okay. So I can see here that it has two sides, basically two red lines. It gives me the company's code. So I'm going to use AGL. The traffic light is red on the buying side. So it gives me a buy traffic light and a sell traffic light. So 
for people trading shorter term, you're doing CFDs. You would use the daily one. It will look the same, but the uh, prices may differ a bit. So you would use the buying as a long and the selling as your short. For people doing equities, you would trade long term. Okay. Then, at your buy buy traffic level, it gives you a buy entry price. In other words, there it looks like sixty four thousand, but this is sixty four thousand cents. So the guru says that when the share reaches 640 rand a share i can look at buying the share currently your last price is the current price so i can see there that it's on 603 rand and 89 cents and then she says okay the target price that's the price you want to reach that she says that when it goes through 640 rand it will then reach 750 rand and the expected growth percentage wise that you can get from that share is 14 percent on the selling side it works exactly the same she gives you a price to climb in and a price to climb out as well as the percentage profit that you will be making there and the last column in this graph would then give me an indication on where my RSI is currently so if I do remember from previous webinars we say that your RSI must usually be below 20 in order for it to be a good buying point so I can then go and have a look at the charting of this specific share so I click on the share. I wait for my security details to open. And I click on chart IQ. This will then open up a new tab. And then while this is busy loading, I can then go and have a look at what does my charting say about this share, for example, now. Okay. So if I do have a look here, I would just like to remove one thing here quickly. Uh, okay. So if I then have a look here, I would note that this share is currently busy coming down. The RSI as well as your stochastic is on a downward trend currently so currently this this wouldn't be a share to look at and for that reason your traffic light is red so i can then also go and filter out the traffic light to a specific color so in other words if i want to see green shares i can then go and type in green and it will throw out all the green shares for me. If I want to select orange shares, I wouldn't go and type in orange. The color is called amber. So now I must go reset filters and wait for the green to disappear there. And now I go amber. And there's all my orange shares. So as I can see, there's not a lot of them. There's only 11, but I can see that they are quite close to their prices as to where the guru said we can look at buying in. Some of them I also do see may have is, um, exceeded their buying prices, which I can also look at buying them. Okay, so then if I go to the share, I go chart IQ. Now I can go and have a look on what this graph is telling me currently. So currently it is telling me that the share is in an upwards trend. 
my RSI is going up, it did have a cross, and my stochastic is busy going down. But then if I have a closer look at this share, I will note that it is currently looking like this share may be turning around to give an upwards movement on this share. So let's see if my page then opens up here or if it's going to do nothing. Okay. So if you then open up the share tracking website, I refreshed it already. It will look like this when it opens up. But on the website, you will see it looks a lot different than the other websites. So it gives you a home, it tells you a bit more of us. Um, it tells you what we offer. And as you scroll down, you will see that there's more stuff that we have on the website. Okay. If I then scroll back to the top, on the left hand side, you will see it says share tracking. You will note there's a bear and a bull. It gives you the home and then a what we offer button. On that what we offer button, if you stand on it, it tells you contact us where we have our details, our services. So basically what we offer, the product catalog, and that's where you want to go, is the product catalog. So you click on it. And it will start loading up the product catalog. The process works as follows. You put through the transaction. Please do ensure that you have an, that you have sufficient funds in your account when you put through the transaction as it is asking for your banking, uh, your card details, like a normal payment that you would do if you order food online or if you buy from take a lot it's basically something like that you would then scroll down and look for the golden goose add-on you would then click add to cart you would note that the wheel on top is busy spinning so in other words it's busy loading up the golden goose to my cart okay it jumps over to the next page it does look like the internet is just a bit slow on this side tonight that's why it's taking its time this block will then pop up again to load the card. And after that, I can then go to my card. On the card, it says I have a golden goose. It's 99 Rand. And now I can just scroll down. It says card total 99 Rand. I say proceed to checkout. So I'll just take you through the steps, um, fill in some of the details, but I won't physically check out, if I can put it like that. So now they're asking my name, so I type in my name. They're asking my surname. They're asking the company where I work, so I work at Sheetracken. The country is South Africa. They're asking for my house number, so I'm going to put in the works address. They're asking the town. Clifton is in Centurion. Zip code. Province. Which is Gauteng. Asking a mobile phone number, so I'll put in our landline number. 
So asking an email address, I'll put in my work email address. Please do ensure that if you do fill in all of these details, that you do put in your your correct email address as you gave it up, the one you sign into your Share Tracking Compass platform with, as well as if you do have your serial number. So to the newer clients that that has a box that received the software, on the box, on the side you will see there's a serial number. It usually starts with a 1931 number and then it continues. So it's usually about eight numbers. It can be a 1931, it can be a 192 if you're on all the client. But if you do know that, you're more than welcome to fill in your serial number there. It gives me my total, telling me what I'm buying. And I say I've read the terms and conditions on the website, which is basically telling you it's a 12-month cycle. And if you do give notice to opt out early out of the golden goose, there's a 30 day canceling period. So you must give 30 days notice in order to cancel. Then I say proceed to pay gate. From there on out, I will note there's a wheel turning there. And now it will take me to ask for my card details. So whichever bank you are banking with, you just take out your bank card, fill in your bank card details. Okay, it's telling you thank you for your order. We are now directing you to Paygate. Now it's directing you to the Paygate window. Where it, like I said, it's going to ask you for your bank card details. So there you can see that it says it's Mon uh, C CKM money, it gives you the reference number, the transaction date. So if I do put it through on the 7th, I do believe it's going through on the same date every month. It tells you the amount that it's going to be deducting and then it says, this is a recurring payment for 99 Rand. This will be processed the last day of the month, starting Monday 7 June 2021 and ending Tuesday 7 June 2022. Now, you put in your details of your bank card, in other words, your card holder name, so in my case it will be my initials and my surname, the bank card number, so on your bank card, depending on with which bank you are, but like with Capitec and with Discovery, it gives you a long number and it gives you your account number. We do not want your account number on the card number. You will note that on your card there's a there's a 16 digit number. So it's usually four numbers space, four numbers space, four numbers space and four numbers. So it will look like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it will look like that on your card with different numbers, obviously. Then you have your expiry date. So each card has an expiry date on when they expire. And then it asks you for the CVV digit. So the CVV digits, if you do turn your card to the back side, usually on most of the banks, bank cards, you have the black um, line on your card and just below that there's a place for you to sign and in that space there's a three digit code we want the last three digits okay three digits then you would then say I agree you would again type in your email address the one you log on to the system with, and you would say, pay now. The transaction will then go through, 
the money will be deducted from your account. And as soon as we receive confirmation that your transaction has been successfully submitted, we will then activate the golden goose on our side. If there are any questions, you are more than welcome to stay behind. To those of you who's going to leave the webinar now, you are more than welcome to do so. And may you guys have a blessed day further and be sure to join us next week again. If you would like the Afrikaans version of the Golden Goose, you can join it by Thursday evening around 7 o'clock where Rudy now will be presenting the Afrikaans version. Bye, guys.